not too much to show on the uh, trapping front but I was very fortunate enough to spend uh, the weekend at my buddy's he has a, a, tra a registered trap line <clears throat> in northern Ontario about four hours from me north uh, northwest so that was a real eye-opener he lives in or his trap lines in some really rugged um, rocky areas so you do a lot of mountain climbing with your uh, skidoo there's uh, one hill that we went up that he was saying that uh, another guy had tried to get up with a four-wheeler and flipped it over and ended up breaking his collarbone and his uh, his arm so uh, real steep country lots of spots uh, were pretty iffy but uh, the expedition went up pretty easy he uh, had the scandic and so he broke the trail and I followed and um, obviously with the trail broken that helps but this thing made it up fairly easy so um, pretty impressed with it um, put on about 70 kilometers and have over half a tank so not bad did a little ice fishing caught a couple uh, lake trout <clears throat> So that was nice. He's just uh, polluted with trout, little trout lakes and ponds. So um, they do quite a bit of fishing while out uh, checking traps. So that was pretty nice. Friday when I got there, it was a snowstorm. It was really uh, windy and hard to see. Saturday was probably two or three in the afternoon, sunny and not a cloud in sight. So we did uh, put in a bit of extra ice fishing time and that was uh, that was really awesome uh, i'll stick some pictures in um, we checked a couple beaver houses we only got one small kit and uh, the he had no real sign of martin or fisher at all at all it was really really quiet in the woods um, very few birds he's got bait piles kind of scattered all over the place nothing had really been into any of them um, we did get a lynx on the last the last day yeah <clears throat> so that was pretty nice good size lynx too really nice fur some decent spots on the belly so that was really cool and uh, just had an overall good time it was a real eye-opener um, I'm not sure I don't think everybody's trap line is as uh, remote and, and uh, rough and tough as his is. But uh, those 70 kilometers were hold on tight and uh, you spend a lot of time leaning to the left or right. There's a few spots there that uh, if you don't lean and you go over the edge, just leave your skidoo down there because it'll be destroyed. So it was... Uh, Probably not a family outing on some of those trails, but um, you know some of them were were pretty beautiful to get up into the to the hills. I think he said the highest spot around his trap line's uh, 1,400 feet. So lots of lots of trout ponds. They're all stocked. Lakers, uh, specks, and brookies. So um, really nice that way. So good hunting up there bit of a chore to get into uh, the place but um, that's kind of what makes it nice and, and remote didn't see or hear anybody for the whole weekend so we had some venison sausage over the fire while we were fishing and uh, yeah it was awesome I hadn't uh, seen my buddy in oh, at least 10 years so it was kind of a nice uh, get together just me and him shoot the shit so uh, that's what I've been up to so I haven't really gotten too much videos I've been running around last week trying to get uh, my gear organized because um, I wasn't sure what the weather was calling for it was minus 28 when I left um, Friday morning and it was minus 15 when I got there and it just warmed up from there so hope you uh, like some of the pictures um, like I said it was a ton of fun and uh, I hope to do it again soon we'll see you